Hi everyone, so far I have published a couple of videos on the equation of bisector of the angle between two straight lines. In the first video we derived the equation of the bisector. In the next video we have learned how to find out the bisector of the angle that contains a certain point. And here we are going to learn about how to find the equation of the bisector of the angle that contains the origin. Now so far we have learned that the equation of the angle bisectors are like this. When the equation of the original straight lines are like a sub 1 times x plus b sub 1 times y plus c sub 1 equals 0 and a sub 2 times x plus b sub 2 times y plus c sub 2 equals 0 then the equation of the angle bisectors are like what I have in the yellow box here right that's a sub 1 times x plus b sub 1 times y plus c sub 1 over square root of a sub 1 square plus b sub 1 square is equal to so here actually we have two equations that is why you have the plus and minus so one equation would be with the plus sign on the right hand side another equation would be with the minus sign on the right hand side so plus or minus a sub 2 times x plus b sub 2 times y plus c sub 2 over square root of a sub 2 squared plus b sub 2 squared in the previous video we discussed that if we have a point q whose coordinates are h comma k then we did a small exercise it was kind of like this we said well if we use the coordinates of q in the left hand side expressions of the equations of the original straight lines then we have to look at the sign and if both of them give the same sign then we need to use the plus sign for the equation of the bisector and if the expressions give us values with opposite signs then we have to use the minus sign for the equation of the bisector and it was kind of like this let me quickly write it down here if both expressions were giving positive values or both expressions were giving negative values meaning values of the same sign whether both of them are positive or both of them are negative right when the values are of the same sign then the equation of the bisector would be with the plus sign and it will be like this in this equation we need to use the plus sign on the right hand side and that's why I really have not written any sign here but you can assume that of course there is a plus sign here now if the expressions when using the coordinates of the point Q when the expressions would give us values of opposite sign for example the situations could be like this that means if the expressions give us values of opposite sign whether the first one is positive second one is negative or the first one is negative and second one is positive does not really matter if they give us values of opposite signs then the equation of the bisector would be with the minus sign on the right hand side and it will be like this now the main topic of this video is when the point Q is the origin that means if Q is origin we know that the coordinates of origin are like this so if we have origin let's say Q is now being assumed as the origin and let's call it O and we know its coordinates should be 0 comma 0 and if you think about it if you use 0 for H and 0 for K then the value of each of these expressions essentially going to depend on the sign of the constant term right because when you substitute x with 0 or h with 0 and k with 0 then the a term and the b term they both will become 0 and we will be left only with the constant term so for origin we can clearly say that if c sub 1 is greater than 0 and c sub 2 is also greater than 0 or if we have c sub 1 less than 0 and c sub 2 also less than 0 then we need to go with the positive sign for the equation of the bisector so we need to go with the positive sign that is one situation and the other situation would be if we have c sub 1 greater than 0 and c sub 2 less than 0 or c sub 1 less than 0 and c sub 2 greater than 0 in this scenario we have to go with the minus sign for the equation of the angle bisector and that bisector would be the bisector of the angle that would contain the origin and to make it even easy we can go one step further we can rewrite the equations of the original straight line in such a way that the constant term is positive say for example what I am saying here is that if we have the original equation like this let's say 2 times x 
minus 3 times y minus 6 equals 0. Can we multiply both sides of this equation by a negative 1? Then it can be written as negative 2 times x positive 3 times y and positive 6 equals 0. You see how we changed the negative constant term which was right here. The negative constant term is now looking like a positive constant term. So, if we rewrite the equations of the original straight lines in such a way that the constant term is denoted as a positive value, then it becomes even easier. Then we know that if we substitute x and y with 0, then we know that the value will always be positive. So, in that case, we can say if you rewrite the equations like this, then always go with the positive sign. That means, let me again write it down. Let's suppose after rewriting the original equation making the constant term positive, our equation looks like this. The first equation meaning equation of the first straight line and also let's suppose that after rewriting the equation of the second straight line by making the constant term positive, it looks like this. Then after rewriting the equations by making the constant terms positive, we can easily say that the equation of the bisector would be the one with a plus sign on the right hand side. That means, if we can rewrite the equations like this, then the equation of the bisector would be like this. And that is the easiest way of doing it. So, I would always recommend that you rewrite the equations of the straight lines in such a way that the constant term is positive and then you go with the equation of the bisector like this. And this is the equation of the bisector of the angle that contains the origin. I hope it made sense so far. Next, we are going to take an example and see how we can easily determine the equation of the bisector of the angle that contains the origin. Suppose we have been given the equation of two intersecting straight lines like this. As you can see, in the first equation, the constant term is already positive, which is right here. That's the positive 2. But in the second equation, we have the constant term as negative. So, let's rewrite the second equation kind of like this. So, if we rewrite the second equation, this is going to look like negative 2 times x negative y and then positive 6 is equal to 0. So, now we have these two equations. Let me highlight them. Here is one equation and here is the other equation and because we have made the constant terms positive, now it is pretty easy. What would be the equation of the bisector of the angle that contains the origin? Well, we are going to go with the plus sign as you can see on the top of the screen. We are going to use the same concept here. So, here then what would be the left hand side expression for the first equation? Well, this is clearly x minus y plus 2 and over over square root of what is a sub 1. Well, a sub 1 is actually positive 1. That is the coefficient of x. So, that is positive 1 square and plus what is b sub 1. Well, b sub 1 is actually negative 1. That is the coefficient of y. So, that is negative 1 square and is equal to we are going to go with the plus sign. Let me just write it down so that it becomes clear to you. So, we are going to go with the plus sign and then the second expression would be negative 2 times x minus y plus 6 over square root of negative 2 square plus negative 1 square. A sub 2 is actually the coefficient of x on the right hand side for the second equation I mean. So, that is negative 2 square that is a sub 2 square plus b sub 2 would be negative 1 which is the coefficient of y. So, that is negative 1 square and if we simplify this then what do we get? So, from here we can say that this is x minus y plus 2 over square root of 2 square root of 1 plus 1 that would be square root of 2 is equal to I am not going to write the plus sign anymore. So, this would be negative 2 times x negative y plus 6. I am just simply omitting the plus sign because no sign means plus sign right and then this would be square root of 4 plus 1 5. So, that would be square root of 5 in the denominator and from here if we cross multiply we are going to get square root of 5 times x minus y plus 2 is equal to square root of 2 times negative 2x then negative y and then positive 6 and if we now remove the parenthesis what do we get? We get square root of 5 times x minus square root of 5 times y plus 2 times square root of 5 is equal to negative 2 times square root of 2 times x and then negative square root of 2 times y then positive 6 times square root of 2 and if we bring everything to the left hand side then right hand side will become 0. So, on the left hand side we will have one x term and this other x term will become positive when it comes to the left hand side. So, then we are going to have square root of 5 plus 2 times square root of 2 whole times x. So, that is the coefficient of x and then plus we can say square root of 2 minus square root of 5 times y. Think about it. 
So here is a negative square root of 5 times y and this negative square root of 2 times y will become the positive term when it comes to the left hand side. So that's why I have written it like this and then we are going to be left with plus so 2 times square root of 5 and then minus 6 times square root of 2 and that is the equation of the bisector of the angle that contains the origin. I hope everything made sense. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.